Now we're going to examine the throttle and the governor arrangement on the Lyfen 5 horsepower engine. So if we look down here, we can see the governor arm, and that's the way it moves in operation. And the governor arm is adjusted by a screw, which controls the strength of a spring, which decides how much influence the governor has on the speed of the engine. As well as that, we can also see the throttle, or the choke operation here. So we move that back and forth, that's choke on and choke off. So we're going to go around to the carburetor side now and have a look at those in operation. So the first one is the choke flap. So there we can see the choke flap operating. And the next one is the throttle flap. There you can see the throttle flap in operation. So now we're going to start up the engine and we're going to run it at speed and we're going to observe the throttle at work. So here we have an engine stripped down and we can see there's the operation of the lever we've just been observing and if we look inside the engine we can see and there's a paddle there and when that paddle is operated the lever outside operates and controls the throttle position. So that paddle there is operated by a centrifugal device, in other words, a device that's sensitive to speed. So we look at that now, and here we can see the camshaft, which is being driven off a helical gear from the crankshaft, and which in turn, through a bevel gear, drives this assembly here. And we can see there's a plunger that comes in and out. And as the plunger comes in and out, we notice there that there are a couple of weights that are splaying out. So those weights splay out under the influence of centrifugal force. So the faster the engine goes, the more the weights splay out, and the more the plunger pushes out. And when the plunger pushes out, it acts on this paddle here, and the paddle will move back and forth under the influence of the plunger, which in turn operates the governor. And this stops the engine from overspeeding. It's absolutely vital that everything here is functioning because if the engine overspeeds, she'll drive herself to destruction very quickly.